Hey everyone, you've probably been in a position where you need to change the brushes on a mortar. As soon as you do, you find out that the spring that's pushing these towards the center that are supposed to press up against the armature here are in the way. So you got to get these back to get this whole assembly on this. So let me show you what I've done. Is I've created um, a slip knot here using some fishing line and then I'm using some tape over here to get the fishing line out of the way so when I put this assembly on the housing here um, the wires aren't inside here and basically what the slip knot is doing is, is allows me to tension it up and then if I pull one side or the other the uh, the knot will come and done and then I can just go ahead and pull the wire right on out it'll release the uh, tension on these brushes and they'll spring up against the armature here so that's that's the uh, that's the theory um, and I'll show you how to do this the hardest part is going to be um, me showing you how to tie this knot but you can go on Google and find out how to tie a knot to how to do this so anyway here's here's the line and I'm going to fold it here and I'm going to bring it under see that I just bring it under like this <laughs> bring it around okay so right now I just have it you can see that right and then I'm going to go ahead and push that wire th line through that hole but I don't want to bring it all the way through. Just want to grab it so that it's been difficult here. But this is this is real life stuff, not rehearsed. <laughs> so okay, so we grab that line and then we tighten it up. See that? Tighten it, pulled it really tight. Now I got my slip knot. See? Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to mark this side. So I know which side is my pull line. This is the line that I'm going to pull to, that's going to undo the knot. Some climbers use the same knot. You get down to the bottom of a hill and, uh, and the rope... Uh, helps them uh, rappel down, but when they get down to the bottom, they want the rope back. <laughs> so they can go ahead and create this same similar knot and, uh, and get the rope back. Okay, so here we go, we're pulling it. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and, oops, slipped off. We want to go ahead and, and, and actually push that knot down see, hold on. see I, my loops too small here so I'm gonna open it up a little bit try it again push this put that there put my finger over it Put it around that piece there and then cinch it up and then the trick is is to get this knot down in there and you kind of got to use your fingernails to really kind of cinch that knot in there push it in cinch it down Keep slipping off. And there you go. So then you want to take a piece of tape. And you want to tape these wires back. The line. So they're not in the way when you put the assembly together. See? 
And now my lines are out of the way. Make sure my grommet's on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the housing here. And you kind of got to make sure that you've got your holes lined up. I see a hole here and I see a hole here. So I'm going to put this on. It's going to be a little bit snug because of the bearing. And uh, you're going to have to push it down a little bit and there you go. So that's it. So then now I've got my colored wire, my two pieces, and my colored wire. I don't know if you can really see the color there, but if I pull this wire, the uh, the the wire is going to the fishing line is going to come out from under the assembly. So I'll watch. So I'm going to pull this. See, see that. That's it. So all I need to do is just screw this on and I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.